Hey backers, Thomas here from Team Linvander. Thanks so much for a great first Kickstarter day on the Legacy line. We are over 50% funded. Of course, the, the goal is slightly less than a typical uh, board game, but we are almost there. And it seems that it's jumping up quite, uh, quite rapidly. Uh, I want to talk quickly a bit about some of the pledge rewards. There's been a few questions about how to pledge because there's a lot of content on this Kickstarter, let's face it. And, uh, well, let me just break it down for you. Uh, there's an Excel sheet, I've even attached it here in this update, you can take a look at, download here. And uh, even on the main page, there's an Excel sheet that has all of the legacy products that we have available. And it has their prices and it has all kinds of um, descriptions as to what they're compatible with and what not on there, and what they're used for, what game they belong to, etc. That uh, Excel sheet is what you can use to uh, figure out what it is you want on your pledge. Uh, to make it easier, if you can't open Excel, I'm going to actually save a, a JPEG of it and put it up on the page for you as well. Uh, and hopefully it'll be readable enough for you to work with. But um, basically just go through it and be like, oh, you know what, I've got Albion's and I've got all the expansions and stuff. Maybe I want the conversion kits from Sherwood's. And the conversion kit is actually like a character pack. We just took the characters from like, uh, for, for example, let's say we took the characters from Sherwood's Legacy and then we ported them in so that you could play them as playable characters in Albion's Legacy. Uh, and so what you can do is you can say, oh, you know, I want this character pack and that character pack. Maybe I want some miniatures. Or maybe, I, maybe I want to pimp my setup. I can do this thing here. I got these like cool little Destiny metal tokens, right? So you can say, oh, maybe I want metal Destiny tokens. So I'm going to up the pledge. And you calculate it all out and then just uh, add that number in and then pledge for that amount in your create your own pledge or any pledge if you want just go in and you can add that up add it to the amount that you, of your pledge and that would be your total pledge then after the campaign is finished we will sort it all out in the pledge manager uh, we're using a new pledge manager this time we're not using backer kit and uh, so we will use a new pledge manager that new pledge manager uh, is very sl very sleek it's very easy we'll have the entire excel sheet broken down as a list and you'll be able to select the products there and and there you go you've got your products I uh, highly encourage you to uh, pledge now instead of the pledge manager because even though we don't have stretch goals, it's still really good for our metrics to know that, they, oh great, you know, there's a lot of people that want this stuff and, and allows us to be able to pivot all the excess product and stuff that we currently have. Uh, from there, um, once you get to the pledge manager, you select your items, you can select additional items if you wish, and then the shipping will be calculated. Shipping. People asking about shipping. In the past, um, Linvander's shipping fees have been pretty good. Uh, I know we've never had any real complaints about uh, their actual, like the cost. Uh, that's because we've been subsidizing some of the shipping costs, which we're going to kind of continue to do. But the shipping costs are going to be roughly, uh, if you're looking at sending out a board game uh, or, uh, you know, a class, a, a package as big as a board game or two, which might have uh, all a bunch of expansions and some dice and stuff trapped in there. Uh, it can be anywhere from about 12 to $20 uh, within the various areas of the US or Canada. And that's, I'm quoting that out in Canadian, so uh, like basically $1 American or free if you're in Europe. Haha, uh, -ha, laugh track. And so, uh, yeah, so it's gonna be about 11 to $20, somewhere in that range. Generally, it's between, 50, it's around 15 or 14. Uh, and then for EU backers, it's a whole different gamut because we have to ship the package, uh, all of your stuff together over to um, the the uh, Estonia and then we just divide it out from there and then ship it from there and so then there's shipping fees over there like I think it's anywhere between 8 and 12 euros uh, from what we did last time um, as, as much as like 15 to 20 based on where it's going uh, AU unfortunately Australia because you're so far away but we love you um, it's hard uh, the, the pricing can get up to over $20 Canadian maybe even closer to 30 based on how far but we will do the best to subsidize if you get multiple things so if you buy like all the character packs or you know the entire soul of the legacy where you've got like pretty much everything including miniatures and whatnot then uh, uh, then of course we're going to subsidize your shipping and make it work uh, heck if you get the soul of the legacy and spend a thousand dollars I'll pay your shipping it's just because it's like you're getting everything this is kind of cool Yes, you can quote me on that. Uh, so yeah, I think we've got, so Aaron Merch is here in the studio. Uh, do you have a sample of the boxes that we, we ship? I have a few different samples of boxes. Let's take a look at the samples of the boxes real quick so you can see what the shipping's gonna look like. Let's talk about the minis uh, as well. I'd love to just show a box of minis. Right, to bring both boxes over. There we go, we're bringing both boxes over. So if you buy a board game, or if you have the board games and you buy just the expansions, you're looking at um, a box about this size. 
and uh, actually, if you don't mind, can you grab a uh, couple of expansions from Albion's? Should have had this all prepared for the thing, but I feel like I'm on the live feed, except for that we're not on the live feed, so you so can't. So we could be editing this all out. So we could be editing this all out, but I don't, I'm not. Who edits? I stopped editing after the very first Kickstarter video. Uh, you know what? We'd be better off for it. Yeah, better off. So here's an example. So this is the oh, the punch board falling apart in my hands here. This is the Albion's Legacy uh, Aaron's Journey expansion pack. This pack will go into the box with other expansion packs and stuff. The dice, the uh, Destiny coins. We'll have a little bag of Destiny coins. We can just throw those in there. Make sure it's all stuffed with something so it doesn't roll around. If it's too thick, seal the sucker up. You got yourself a box. This box, eleven to fifteen dollars, eleven to twenty dollars, like I just quoted a second ago. And uh, do we have a pack for the minis, a little box? If you just, I just bring over one of those, and I won't, yeah, uh, I won't I, show you who it's going to. Uh, well, this is an empty one. Actually, to off. I'm just looking for some foam to put in that. Um, the foam is, I don't know where the foam is. So uh, this is, this is a little box for the minis. Uh, what's really cool about this box is that we got some foam to go on these. You know what? I've got one that's not marked. Give me one second. I got something. Here's a box. Of, here's a box with some foam in it, and you can see. Oh, well, actually, I better be careful with these. Uh, there's a box with some foam in it, um, and you can see that the, the foam holds the minis in place. Uh, what's really cool about these minis is that these are the partially the alternate sculpts and uh, and the Neverlands masters. These are the masters. So this is there's Captain Captain Hook, uh, the master for Captain Hook. These are what are completed so far. Uh, James Van Shake will be sculpting the rest of them. Uh, we've got Peter Pan in there. We've got. Uh, uh, Tiger Lily, Tinker Bell. Anyways, so this box, we seal it up, and this box here. Uh, what's cool about this is that we can even actually just, you know, the expansion's in there. You can even just throw the box in there, and there you go, it's ready to go. So, I wouldn't worry, uh, I wouldn't worry about the, uh, the shipping cost being too dramatic. Uh, I would, however, um, uh, highly encourage you, if you're gonna buy all the good stuff, to just Go ahead and, and pledge for it, it'd be great. So that's our first update. Um, I think the next update we do will showcase uh, some of the art from the different games. So if you are a new backer and you're looking at getting the whole project, you can actually um, take a look at all the cool art and stuff. I mean, you can do that by going through all the old campaigns, but that's just gonna take forever. Uh, we'll do a nice little showcase maybe next update, um, unless we fund before then. And yeah, well thank you very much backers. If you have any other questions, feel free to uh, talk in the comments. We love the community, we always have. And uh, uh, spread the word on Board Game Geek. We've got lots of links out there. Uh, Kick Track, check out the Kick Track, uh, because Kick Track, if you go to Kick Track, it tells you what we're trending to. It's never accurate. But the good news is, is that if you like it or tweet it or visit the project from the Kick Track, it actually helps build the metrics and it puts us in the top 10 and puts us in a spot where people might be able to see it. That gains visibility, that brings us some new family members, that raises more money, that helps us pay for everything, and the whole game is, uh, the whole gamut is, is a win. So uh, from there, uh, we're gonna say thanks very much for watching and uh, all right. I actually just went to click my mouse to, to, to turn off the, uh, the live feed, and I realize I'm like, oh, it's not a live feed, it's a live video. Let me do this instead. All right.